So this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. This is for July 29th through the 30th. Let's get straight into it. Of course, keep in mind with this being general, you only want to take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If you're in need of more so of a personal message, just check out the information listed below. On my website, I offer some really interesting sessions. So just check that out below. Um, and make sure you subscribe if you're new here to Vibe definitely want to make sure that you get notified when we upload so make sure that you do hit that subscribe button now let's see what's going on pisces what does july 29th through the 30th have in store for you so bam let's talk about the first or these two theme cards that we pulled okay so this says today is a good day and it says start the day with the attitude of appreciation for infinite possibilities Proclaim that no matter what happens, you will make the most or the best out of it. Excuse me. Wholeheartedly believe everything will go your way. And as a reminder, you got to say it is a good day. OK, <laughs> so we also have this card as well. It says creativity and it says seize the day. And I've actually gotten this card for multiple zodiac signs. I think I think I got this for Aquarius and maybe Taurus. Don't quote me, but. Let's go ahead and talk about the theme here. Mm, you guys are really going to have to prioritize feeling better and uplifting your spirits. What I will say is you will possibly have some moments within this time frame where you may feel more like down or not as upbeat. And when it comes to you guys producing within a business or with creative endeavors or just producing the best feelings, you guys are going to have to prioritize that by being intentional in the way that you, you know, pay attention to things, what you give energy to. Okay. Especially with people trying to bring down your vibration around you, whether this is family, friends <clears throat> or petty friends, cause they couldn't be genuine friends if they're doing that. Um, or even people who aren't necessarily trying to bring down your energy, but people who are, uh, in some way affecting you, this is making sure that you're making it your duty to not have those energies around you or to penetrate your vibe. Okay. But with the first card we have here, we have the eight of swords in reverse representing you and your present situation. So this is you really coming out of a space of mental mental blockages, but also feeling victimized in a situation because mentally you may have not found a release or a way to turn the circumstances around or get out of the said circumstances. But a lot of you are either realizing a relationship or a job or something that you were giving a lot of mental power. Is it worth all the mental power that you've been given it? And with you doing that, that's you basically setting yourself free from feeling uh, basically at a disadvantage as if you don't know what to do with the situation. Um, let's clarify. Yeah. Princess of swords. You guys may be realizing that it's just not worth the stress with someone who may act really petty whenever you guys get into arguments or really hard to communicate with, or you guys may be, you know, dealing with someone and you guys go on a slight break and not dealing with each other. And then they post things on social media to kind of aggravate you. And it's like, well, I'm not going to keep putting up with these like petty antics or you're dealing with someone who like keeps throwing out the idea of you guys dating seriously and then not taking real initiative. Now, when it comes to what actions you can take during this time frame to make the most out of this, um, we have gratitude. So this is expressing a level of gratitude for the changes that you guys are experiencing. Um, also understanding when it comes to your past experiences, it's not a, <clears throat> it's all in the way that you view it. So if you can take from your past experiences and not necessarily regret what you've been through, but understand why you went through it and how strong it's made you today, then that would benefit you guys more, especially in this time frame when it comes to like a past relationship or like some of you beating yourself up for not taking, you know, enough action within your career or something like that. Um, 
This is just changing your view on things here. And finding things to be grateful for in moments where you kind of are in this like depressed or like lack luster feeling. Now, the obstacle or challenge that may come up, I have the five of cups. So this could be fixating on things that you can't change about the past or opportunities that you feel like you may have missed or dissatisfaction with a certain situation and not seeing what you can do to change that dissatisfaction or get what you're truly looking for. Some of you, the way you're viewing your past. And that's why I think I needed to mention the gratitude aspect. This guilt. Um, this could even be an inability within like a current connection or relationship to move on from like, cheating issues or problems within the relationship, especially if this is a long-term connection. You guys may have been through a lot of stuff together. Now, when it comes to the future, I have the two of cups. So a relationship is going to come into focus. This is also for my people who are single, the energy of you guys focusing on Getting personal balance, this may be personal balance within your career and home life or personal balance between like your love life and your personal space or um, your person's needs and your needs. Um, this is you trying to find balance in areas in your life, basically, um, if you're not necessarily looking at your relationship and how you can better support it. Some of you may be even wondering whether or not a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection will come around or come back around. Now, the advice for you with the Princess of Wands, there's a need for you to make sure you're controlling your anger issues or like working on not being as irritable. This is, again, making it your priority to have better feeling or... Nah, I don't want to use that word, making it your priority to feel better, to nurture yourself, your emotional health, your mental health, all those things. Also, you are going to have some people who are going to be trying to test it when it comes to like just doing irritating things just for the sake of being petty. Do not feed into that. But this is what I see. I hope I did put things in perspective. If you enjoyed Thumbs the video up, subscribe, of course, check out the information below if you want a personal. We do have the August 2021 forecast up, so if you want to know how the month of August is going to play out for you, just check out my website below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.